Hello once again and welcome to another edition of African Stars Club Legends. With us today is uh, Mr. Zigo Omina Skadeva. Welcome to the program, Zigo. Thank you, Hello, Carlos. Thank you and uh, thanks really for having me. Always an, uh, an honor to come speak about African Stars, bringing, down, bringing us down, taking us down memory lane. Very good. I like it. Or he might be a little bit young, but he's a club legend. In and out, African stars, he stood the test of time. Um, he started with African stars as a very young, as a very young age, coming from Nokakara Secondary School. Then we played for clubs like Hungry Lions with his brothers, Kondeka Aces, and uh, he was eventually snapped up by African stars. Can you? Please walk us through your journey as to how you joined Africa Stars. Yeah, firstly, let me say I grew up in Aminius, Tarimare, and, and uh, my first six years, and then at the seventh year, I came to Windhoek. That's where I, the way where I first made contact with the football. I watched my brother, I used to accompany my brother to teach other about to trainings. But we remember, I realized I used to train at single quarters that before that, the disco hall, on, on hard bricks, hard rocks, and we train there. And then uh, maybe you had two pairs. Some guys had only one pair. They play on that rocks, and then you, you have to be able to play at the SKW or Cardotra Stadium with the same boots. That was tough. But um, as I said, I grew up in I grew up there, and then I came primary school in Windhoek, and I went to Waterberg Primary School, junior senior primary school for further my studies there. I played real football there. Many many people can attest to that. And then I went to Kakara Secondary School, played for the first team before I came for trials at European Stars. But it was, it was a given. It was my best. I just had to take that after school. It was just European Stars all the way. There was no other team. I came for trials and then I went back to play for a first division team, yeah, Young Stars of Okahanja. We jungled between those uh, village tournaments and then uh, first division. We played for a, a young Hungry Lions as well. When my boy, hit, I must say, my boy, hit, because that's where I saw the first side of the ball at the Hungry Lions. And then uh, I played the trials for Africa Stars and went back. They wanted to snap me up immediately. And then I said, no, I will come on due time, no problem. Now, at some stage, you also went to ICF, ACF. If it was in uh, yeah, I came for my, my standard set. And who were your some of your celebrated teammates there at the school? At the school, I was uh, with uh, Kilian, Kilian Cavari, and I think uh, Ringo Scrivia were, were seniors, and Max Capose, those were the boys I grew up with, that was my age mates. And then we had an under, under 17. We played for the under 17 that year. We played some uh, good football as well. Against Asia Pena, against the, the, the white, former white schools, that was 1987. So, former white schools. Uh, we gave a good account of the main Zip you against the Rondo Bucks, if I'm not mistaken, in a friendly match. In a friendly match. Yeah. And then the official debut you against uh, Civic, where you beat Civic 5 0. I how, myself. How was, tell us, how was it feeling like, I mean, playing for African Stars? Especially in front of a big crowd, it was always your dream to play for African stars. Now, I know suddenly now you find yourself among stars like Jets in the Room, Bull, Bernard Newman, and all these top players. And uh, going into that field, how was the feeling sort of like? Uh, I was a little uh, arrogant. There was a little sense of arrogance with me. I, I knew I'll, my, when my time comes, I'll come to training, give it my all, and, and just go into the starting lineup. The, the, there was top. In, in, in over, over the place, you know, where are you going to play? Where are those people? Where? In that which field? There is who? Oh, there is who? Oh, Toti Hanavi. There is Richard Kambiri Park. Where are you going to play? I said, no, when, when it's my time, I'm going there. There was a tendency also for the, the old guard. They didn't want to make space for the youngsters to come in. We were training at uh, English Primary School, I remember. It was still not, uh, not grass like it is today. But I, I, Gave them a run for, more, for, for their money. It was clear I had to be in the starting lineup. So they surrounded about friendly. That's why nobody wanted to leave me. No one wanted me to go back to Okakarava. 
they were talking to Stan Lee, the boy will be snapped up by someone else. What if Liverpool of Okahanja was coming over, well, take that boy. And then Stan Lee said, ah, I'm assured that boy is in and out, everything starts, he's going away. So when I started friendlies, uh, I was already like, uh, I was welcomed with open arms, because I forced them to welcome me with open arms, because it was, you know, when we are yeah, in a good, uh, no one can push you down. And we had the uh, Shepard Morabe, that's the his coach. That's where I started. Uh, he, dropped, he dropped me in. There was no way, no two ways about it. How was the reception? I, I mean, I like the atmosphere in the dressing room with the senior players. I mean, acceptance on the young players and newcomers. Like you said, uh, this guy is probably coming to take my place or he's going to come, coming to take my friend's place. So how was it? Was there any tension among the players? I think that was uh, it was it was a given. It was time for change. The I pity the guys like uh, Katisha, Bennett Newman, Juku, the uh, Bobby Shinger, the Shift Boas. They the guys were part of the 1984 team that won the the Messi Cup. That was the last cup of the Messi Cup won 1984. And then they went on a dry spell for seven years. So maybe they accepted that. Uh, and then remember 1990 they played. Promotion the relegation, they, they almost went down and then they recovered. And in 91, they came second in the league. That's why we went to play in uh, Zaya. Uh, for my Zaya. The game is Bongo. Bongo was born. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lost 5 0 in the game. Yeah. 2 0 away and 3 0, yes. Uh, you, you have a good memory, CK. Okay, now at some stage after that, you have established yourself now as a vital cook in a star starting lineup. The team went a little bit on a slippery slope um, when you struggled and you went through a lot of things that stars, you know, although you also enjoyed some success. How was it like, I mean, trying to keep the team afloat when the going was tough? Yeah, um, first of all, um, 1992 when I started playing, that was now the end of the seven years of drought. Well, yes, drought, yeah. Uh, yeah, so when I came, we made, we changed a lot. We made African stars uh, to enjoy what African stars is about. Because that is the year we played the uh, Black Africa in the 1992 Classic Classic Final. That is the year we played the Ramblers in the Metropolitan Cup. I we won three, two. We won both. Yes. So uh, that's the year also we went to DRC, as we said, the then Sayer. We had a good team bonding uh, exercise there. That was a good trip, uh, with funny moments. Some we can not talk about. <laughs> uh, that is a, a good team one. But I think the Zaire trip helped us a lot. That is maybe formed part also of the acceptance. Of experience. Yeah, yeah, the acceptance also. I, I think it was helped by that trip as well. Uh, what was your role in the team? It was as a youngster, being next to Bennett Newman and Chester Neru and those with senior players. And you were really a marvel to watch. I when I was one of the guys who could pay any kind of money to go and watch you playing football. Thank you. Um, what, the confidence that you had for for somebody your age. Why? Where did this come from? How did you manage? Uh, uh, I mentioned arrogance, uh, slight uh, arrogance, because they are, in school I was a settled data at the secondary school first team Kakarara. I played in a in the middle in the midfield of a four three three system in the middle, in the center. And then, uh, so I, I was, sometimes I tried to uh, be better as well. And then uh, I was pity. When I came to, to African Star, I thought I would play central midfield. And then Shepard Morab, uh, he saw my speed and then converted the whole system, made it a 4 4 2, me on the wing. So that's why I, uh, I didn't struggle. I didn't struggle. From training, commitment, there was no way I will. I would be shy or afraid of going in there. I played football like also with a bunch of the, our youngsters, you know, with young Anglers, Namibians, the youngsters of Oganja. We had a bunch of very talented boys. Uh, Seven in Jala with, with us, and uh, Maniki Kaimu, Herman, Moharupa, Goliath Kahoro, Epson Kaut, uh, Lawrence Dari Sharera. We, we knew it all, man. We were, we were very, 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 very wise. Now, on Zeko, the name Sibo, was a Brazilian soccer player, Brazilian midfielder. How, how did you, 
How did how did you came to this name Zigo? Was it given to you by your teammates, or how did you acquire this name? It was this big name Zigo. No, no, it's a big, big, big name. It's a white. They call him the white Tell pilot. Tell a little bit how you got this name. I I played in uh, Waterberg, the senior primary school, and then we went to play in uh, Oshitu. The band I played that tournament, and in Chapiru he had no choice. He gave me the name. And I started writing it on my class books as a nickname, and it stuck. So the must says you're no longer Satrach. You became Zigo. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, what was your biggest moments with African Stars? Um, I'm proud to be a part of the change. The 1992 the revolution, we, we really changed the face of African Stars. Then the, since the 1984 Men's Cup, African Stars really was a walkover for many teams. I, I pity the guys who were there because uh, they were not winning. Yeah. It was disheartening for the supporters. You know, the, the folklore, so many people coming to the state team and always going. They lift the focus. Some old topics forgot their cars at the stadiums. And then when they get home, all the keys are in, in the pocket. The guy, where is the car? The lady can gas where's the car? And then he's wondering. So it was painful process. Now 1992, it was a year of change. We came, a bunch of the guys, the youngsters I mentioned, we all came, we wanted positions. Fortunately, we had that trip uh, to, to DRC. Uh, we bonded, accepted. And then when we came back, we gave, uh, we gave teams hell. That's, uh, we played the Castle Classic. Uh, we, we went to Shakati, we played in, a, in, in two groups, three teams, three teams. Black Africa was on the other group. African Stars was in his group. I think we played the Civics and Blue Waters. And then uh, we both goals went through. African Stars, Black Africa would have to come back to window for the next week and next Saturday to play that final. They were, their teams were up because they never went there. They don't lose in the finals against African Stars. It's a year once when, they, when we went through to from Shakati. It's a year once as, as a game. So they said, and they said oh, not this time, not this time. And then we came, Saturday, we, we drew 0-0, zero, zero, went to penalties. I remember seven, Angela missed for us, Mike Peterson missed for the other, for playing Africa. And then it was a caucus. They said, no, let's, let's stop it here. Let's bring them back. I, 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 let's I, I, play on the next Saturday. Next Saturday came, and I was injured in the first round, in the, in the, first, the first final. I was kicked by 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 Ringo Scriver, me so rest in peace, Ringo Scriver. But there was no way I will miss the final. So that's maybe the way I walk like this today is because of the, the injunction. So I took an injunction for that weekend. I had to play the final again. I played the final. We won uh, uh, one zero from a bushing at the cross to seven in Jala header. We won that cup. So Black Africa, uh, we thought. We have it in a bit, but then we other people coming in, strangers who don't care with the history. We never cared with the history. There are guys of us, especially the senior guys, Nico Injo, Bowie, Totti, uh, Bobby Gio, me, me, so also rest in peace. Those people, they couldn't eat. And then we said, oh, bring the lunch. Pretty much meals. They were, they were not enjoying it. it, was because of the tension, because of the fear. And then we said, ah, oh, bring those plates to us. How <laughs> we eat those plates, we go into the field to run like hell. Nothing, no fear. Now at, at your age, at some stage, when you think stars was way through a rough patch, not winning games. And you know the crowd, everything it stars, <clears throat> it, they can become very hostile. Now how did you manage to navigate your your yourself through those hostile environments and um, probably just close your ears to not to carry doubts or to those insults from the crowd. It was tough. It was tough, but I was naughty. I was part of the naughty street, street kids of Katutura. There by BSK, the now BSK, Cocos Shops in Kamperipa Street. So I I was naughty. That is one thing that helped me. Uh, I remember... Uh, you could take punches. You could always take punches. I would take punches. So there were insults. There were insults. Sometimes you, 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 your father go and watch the football or your brother, and then the, the mother, the father, 
get the <laughs> he was really get the get the punch. So uh, I was very naughty and I could take. But I remember guys who came to African Stars said Herunga who brought him from eleven arrows and played two matches, Chipura and Sultan. He says, How can I be insulted while I'm playing for a team? I should be insulted when I'm in the other team. He went back to eleven arrows. He said no. So there were guys who faint headed who went back. But uh, we stood the test of time. We, some of us, we took the punch. Uh, Zico, your, unfortunately, uh, your career came to an abrupt end while still at the pinnacle of your career. Sorry, I think you're niggling knee injuries. How did it feel not playing football? Well, I think you were 29 when you stopped playing. I remember, you stay. remember very well. Yes, okay. Now, how did it feel like? Ah, it was painful there. Look, at, do we play it? For Mahala, remember, just for the love of the children. So it was not like I'm um, losing an income. I was already working for the Ministry of Education. So it was not like I'm losing uh, any income. There was no payments. Bro. Like today's players, we we'll have to come to an I'm talking about and... the love for the game, sharing the dressing room with your teammates and not that match days. You, you, you never miss those. Uh, women, it was, yeah, I, I really missed it. You are right. The camping, because we used to camp. I don't know about these guys, but we used to camp. The, the friendship, it was too much. Even when you go for drinks after matches, you always like, three or four guys, the same team together. So with the brotherhood, I really missed it. Uh, because I, I remember 1998, the injuries started coming in. And um, But still, I, I soldiered on. I remember we, we, we beat uh, Blue Waters uh, in, in the Metropolitan. Cup final at the Independent Stadium in 1998. That was my last cup. And then 1999, I put into the knees, house strings, more, more, many injuries. So I couldn't try to stop. Now you stood the test of time. You, when some players, when they stop playing, will you disappear from the game? I mean, you want your forever person, African Stars games, African Stars activities, your love for African Stars. Uh, I'm sure that we will go down as a legend, a club legend. Many will remember you for your commitment towards the well-being of African stars. Mm. Where do you want to see African stars in the future? African stars is very close to my heart. It's my second family. The, I grew up under the tutelage of uh, Omlea Strip, Ongwivin, Pakiwaka, Kilian Karija, Stanley Ongwivin. Those are the guys who are with, with me. Uh, George Karija. The, the guys, they really they, they took care of us. And then uh, African Stars is in good hands. Very good hands. I like it that uh, we are not suffering. There are teams who are suffering. Teams who are being relegated now. In fightings, the power struggles. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate. It's fortunate for African Stars. I always tell the people African Stars is blessed. Maybe the ancestors are watching over us. People who, who, who played for the team are still watching over us. African Stars is blessed. So, yeah, they can take it. always uh, if they win the league or come second. I would like them to compete in the, in the, in the, in the African club competitions. I want them to to be like Sundowns, Namibian no Sundowns. Well, dominate um, Namibian football. Yeah. Dominate Namibian football. Become a well oiled machine. Get the best players and go on and go on with the great heights. During your career, who was your toughest opponent and who were the, your best? The best. Your favorite players, um, whether your teammates or from opposition. We even before we before I played, before I started playing, we, I we as young boys who walked to the independent stadium. We have favorite. We had favorites in different teams. When you know Blue Water is coming, could to end up, you know you have Kopo uh, Matungare, Eleven Arrows. You have Sham Welasi, Black Africa. You have Rastan Ozlane. We are Mendoza, Sibondoga, Tigers. We met Ambrosius Five, Fernando Paris. We had favorites. And then, uh, so when I was playing, uh, I, uh, I have to mention uh, Mohamed Osep. Mohamed Osep, a favorite and also a toughest opponent. Bobby Samaria, worth a mention, close to that. Dolphy Kemper, Dolphy Kemper. And then in defense, Mike Klazen, he was playing for Black Africa. Very good player. Very good Very player. Good player. Intelligent game reader, lots pity, but very good game reader. So there are quite a few. 
So I enjoyed playing with Wabi Wabi who was a master of the ball. Well, with that, we've come to the end of another edition of Africa Stars Club Legends. So for more of us yet, if cheers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.